Hello, my name is Harvey, and I live with a condition called Tourette's on a day-to-day -day basis. Tourette's is a condition which not only affects the person suffering from it, but everyone around them. It can restrict the person from concentrating in class, and can be very frustrating from time to time. But what this video is aiming to do is to inform teachers on how to act towards their, a student of theirs with Tourette's and to maybe help them understand the difficulties of having this condition. Pip from Tourette's Action held a special event at my school to show the teachers just how hard it is to work with Tourette's. Tourette's syndrome is not a learning disability, but sometimes the symptoms of Tourette's can cause a barrier to children's learning. For example, when reading, if an, you have an eye-rolling tick, it can create problems when reading a passage. Homework can be a difficulty if you have an obsession where you have to get it just right and vocal tics in the classroom can cause unwanted attention. So I'd like you to do a short exercise just to see how the challenges that face children with Tourette's in the classroom can happen. So I'd like you to write about your journey into work, what you had for breakfast, what you did when you got to work. We're going to spend a minute doing this exercise and each time I clap my hands once, I'd like you to turn around like this. And when I clap my hands twice, I'd like you to roll your wrist and sniff. So, we're going to get writing. Ready, go. Keep concentrating. OK, your minute's up. How did you find that? If you have a look and see how much you managed to write, it's difficult to concentrate on writing and thinking about what you're writing while doing these ticks. It's not a true scenario because children with Tourette's don't think about their ticks, they happen automatically. But it gives you an idea of how difficult it can be. From personal experience, I was told of frequently for turning around and talking when actually this was just a tick. 